So last day of family medicine today, it's seven o'clock right now, and I want to try and get five hours of studying in before I go to sleep. Woo! Guys, I'm literally shaking right now. Like that was, that was close. Okay. Child, when you're out on your own, a million miles from home, feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders. Child, don't forget who you are. Don't lose your head or your How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Just want to start off today's video by checking in with you guys. I had a few messages from people um, because I didn't post a video on Sunday and people asking me where I was and if clerkship had killed me yet. No, I'm, I'm still good. No, I'm just joking with you guys. Last week, I actually had to give two presentations for different student clubs, one for Ryerson and one for McMaster that actually ate up all of my free time. But the videos aren't stopping anytime soon. I hope you guys are all ready for a motivational week in medical school. I feel great right now. It's my last week in family medicine. And oh man, have we come a long way. I've got my final exam for family medicine coming up on Friday. And I also have some updates that I have to share with you regarding what I'm going to be doing next and some new projects that I'm working on this week. But in the meantime, it is just after 11 o'clock right now. I was doing some question bank practice. And now I've got to get ready to go to sleep because I have to wake up at six o'clock tomorrow to get ready for work. But if you guys want to, and before I go to sleep right now, feel free to let me know how your week's been going, what you're up to right now. I know that a whole bunch of uh, interview invites are starting to roll out for the medical schools in Ontario. So congrats to everyone that got one. Let me know how that's going in the comment section below or if you got exams coming up or midterms. Because I'm really not seeing anyone these days. It's pretty depressing actually. I go to work and then I come straight home and I do everything here because we're still in lockdown. So love hearing from you guys but uh, we'll see you all tomorrow when I get going to work. <laughs> This is the lunchroom that I'm in right now. Uh, it's, it's actually one o'clock by the way, so I'm on lunch. I got here at eight o'clock, just a little bit over, halfway done my day. And uh, I haven't showed you guys this yet, but we have this big open room here and there's a kitchen right over there and we've got to go heat up lunch. But the day's been really good so far. We had a lot of telemedicine patients in the first half of the day. Now in the second half, we have a whole bunch of people that are gonna be coming in so we can take a look at them. We have one with suspected otitis media, which is middle ear infection. So I'm gonna finish up lunch and I'll pack everything up. It is snowing like crazy outside. So we'll see what happens with that later on. We'll see you guys in a bit. So this would be the perfect parking lot right now to do some donuts, but my boss is literally right behind me, the doctor that I'm working with, taking all the snow off his car, so maybe another time. Okay, so got home from work at around 6.30 and then recently what I started to do was actually move my workouts from the morning to nighttime because right now I'm going to sleep at around 12 o'clock midnight every night, wake up in the morning at around 6, which means that after work is done, I just get this like full body feeling of being tired after like a long day. I really don't want to get any studying done. So my solution was to throw in my workout blocks now and thankfully, I don't think you guys can see in the shop, but my roommate actually moved some weights back into the house. So it's still not the same as going to the gym, but I feel so much better actually being able to get some like weightlifting workouts in. I love the calisthenics, but after you finish, like I, I can't even describe it. After I'm done like a weightlifting workout, I feel just a lot better and I feel like I'm ready to take on studying. And then today was chest day because it's Tuesday night and yesterday uh, was actually my day off. But anyways, Look at the lighting down here. That is that is something else. I have been stepping up the diet recently, but I noticed that my veins are really starting to come in as I'm starting to get down a little bit more in body fat. And there is some reason to my madness why I'm making a, a point of this right now. A lot of people were always telling me that, you know, all throughout medical school, you're just going to keep losing your gains and the clerkship was going to come around. You're really not going to have any time for gains. But so far, making it work. We'll see how that keeps going starting next week. And I say that we're gonna find out next week because starting next week, I start my first ever elective. So finishing up family medicine and I'm gonna be heading to 
orthopedic surgery. And it's funny because everyone always thinks that I'm going to be getting into surgery when they first meet me, but really that couldn't be further from the truth. I'm actually really considering emergency medicine or family medicine right now, but because of COVID, there aren't a lot of electives in family medicine and emergency medicine for us right now. So I wanted to go and do something that was actually going to let me learn some transferable skills to my fields of interest. So that's why we're going to be going to ortho for the next two weeks, learning everything about bones and fractures and muscle injuries. I'm pretty excited for it. So it's actually one o'clock right now. My night got away from me. I was studying and now I'm exhausted. So I'm going to have to go about to start reading through this ortho textbook at some point, but I'll probably do that after my exam. Tomorrow's going to be another busy day at work. And then tomorrow night, I'll show you how I've been studying for my exam so far and what hopefully I still have to get done before I show up on Friday. Hey, everyone. I know it's been like a full day since I checked in with you guys last. I think the last time I recorded anything was last night, but it has been... The full day, it was a half day at work and then I came back, let me finish this up. I came back from work and we had class for two and a half hours. And then I was doing an Instagram takeover for one of my Instagram accounts that I follow uh, throughout the day. And that was a ton of fun. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm shoveling the driveway right now, shoveling some snow. And there's only two real chores that I actually like doing. And that's cutting the grass and shoveling the driveway. Something about it just really helps me relax. Plan is finish up here and then uh, go back inside and aim for maybe a five hour study session tonight. It's seven o'clock right now and I wanna try and get five hours of studying in before I go to sleep. So got my coffee right here. I got my headphones over here and basically everything else that I need is right here. When it comes to studying for my family medicine exam, there's three different things that I've been doing so far. So if you guys watch the last vlog, the first thing that I do is I have this book right here and I bring it into every single shift and I ask questions when I'm actually working with the doctor. Every time I learn something new, I'll write it down in here and then that way when I come home, I'll look it up at nighttime and do my homework that way. In addition though, I've also been going through the family medicine section of the Toronto Notes chapters. So there are 50 pages for family medicine and I've gone through them all. So the plan tonight is to make one more pass and make sure that I understand. I don't know it all, let's be totally honest here. I don't have everything memorized in these 50 pages, but at least being comfortable with a lot of these things and how I could apply it in practice should be able to help me out a lot with the exam. And then the last thing I'm gonna do the last two hours or so is run through a few more uh, questions using my Amboss question bank that I have. I still have my free membership from before. So I believe there's only 40 questions that I could do. And I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I'm not gonna try and look good for the camera. This is definitely one of those beanie on, white t-shirt type of study nights. And that's what studying all about sometimes it's nothing pretty about it just some hard work we got five hours ahead of us but i think we're going to be in a lot better shape for this exam on the other side so anyways we'll see you guys tomorrow morning mm. i guess i don't want to go to work today no i do I do. I love work. I love being in medical school. I love trying to be a doctor, but I'm tired. I fell asleep with a hat on. Ugh. So last day of family medicine today, and I wanted to make this a thing too going forward. On my last day of all the different rotations, I'm going to quickly give you guys the three best parts and the three worst parts of that particular rotation. So family medicine, really quickly, three best parts. Number one is getting to see the same patient multiple times and getting to build up a relationship with them. I really like that aspect and you get to actually learn people's stories and try your best to help them out like and give them individualized care. The second best part is the lifestyle. You really can't beat the family medicine lifestyle, especially when it comes to being a doctor. And I'm sure that changes from like family doctor to family doctor. There are definitely some that are doing like 70, 80 hours per week, but you get to make your own hours for the most part, depending on, on where you're at. And the third best part is just the variety, the sheer variety of things that you get to do. There's probably no other place as far as medicine goes, except for the emergency room where you're going to see uh, just the variety in case presentation. And then it always makes it like pretty interesting for you. Now, the three worst things really quickly is that number one, sometimes, unfortunately, you just can't provide the level of care for your patients that you want to and you can't always solve their problems in just one visit and that's actually going to bring me to the second worst part especially right now on this rotation which is telemedicine i 
personally did not like telemedicine at all. I found that it got rid of a lot of the personalization that you get to have and the actual interactions with these people. It, it's really hard to provide the care that you want to if you never actually get to see the patient. And for that reason, uh, I really hope that I don't have to do too much telemedicine in the future. And finally, the third thing is the paperwork, you know, the doctor that I'm working with, and then even I had to do just a little bit, just a little taste of what it's like, but there are a lot of forms, a lot of record keeping that you need to do, and a, a lot of bureaucracy that comes with, I'm sure all medical specialties, but definitely something that I saw on this one. Woo. Guys, I'm literally shaking right now. Like that was, that was close. So I just finished my final exam. We submitted it. We got our marks back right away and I passed. I passed my final exam here uh, in family medicine and I'm super stoked about it. I stopped recording yesterday at a certain point because I got a message from one of my friends saying that last year, pretty much everyone in their cohort failed the family medicine exam. So I kind of just lost all composure and switched into like straight study mode. Uh, I put in a lot of work last night and I woke up early and I got the studying done today. And thankfully my preceptor gave me this morning off because that last like two, three hours of studying really came clutch at the end. And I think I would have gotten like an additional three or four questions wrong. So there were only 44 questions. You needed a minimum of 62% to pass. You know, good luck to all of my classmates. I hope everyone did well on it. But uh, I passed and family medicine's over. And uh, yeah, <laughs> super happy. I don't know if anyone's curious to, to kind of hear what was on it. But basically, it's like, you know, the, in terms of the questions, there was like long lists of things. And it's like, pick the most important things or which ones would you do first? So it's like not really what's right and wrong, but like what's the most right? And I always hated those damn exams ever since ever since undergrads, whenever there was something like that. But uh, yeah, a lot of guidelines, a lot of like things like following like the Ontario guidelines. So definitely study up on that stuff if you are at some point getting ready for your uh, Canadian Medical School Family Medicine Clerkship exam. Just trying to pack everything up really quick. And then we're going back home. No one ever wants to believe me when I tell them, but the Mustang really is the perfect family vehicle. Like, look at all the stuff I can put in here. I got a whole piano, got my entire wardrobe, my bag, and basically back on the road. But all right, guys, thank you so much for coming out uh, and joining me for another week here in medical school. It was, it was good. It was good. I had a good week this week. Um, and, you know, next week I'm on surgery. I'm on orthopedic surgery. That really hasn't set in yet. It's going to be a pretty busy week. I want to get this one edited, hopefully for saturday night or sunday morning the plan was originally to try and get two of these out but we'll see what happens because i got to work on a research project and i also got to get, get studying on my orthopedic surgery stuff so i could show up on monday and just kill it but uh everything's going well you guys sent me a lot of well wishes today on instagram once i posted that i actually passed my exam um so i'm going to check in with you guys next week for sure i'll show you what orthopedic surgery is like i'll try and get some more educational videos out too i know there are a ton that i still need to make but thank you guys so much for coming out for another week i hope everyone has a great week this week we'll see you all soon. Everyone take it easy.